Okay. We're in. Woman's note. Tell your ship's captain to assign a maintenance perk for every ship. The conduits keep shorting out up here. At least authorize us to put a whale oil canister in the backup receptacle next to the bridge to keep the power flow steady. Yep, didn't sound any simpler than that. Ah, oh, good. Eat some stuff to get my health back up. On hunting whales, excerpt from a hunting whales, excerpt from a forward gaffer's journal by old Grum. These new ships made by that Sokolov fellow make life easier than it was youth. I'll tell you what, ere was we were at the mercy of the winds. Nowadays, the engines get up at first whale sign, and there ain't time time and now to rouse the boys from their bunks afore. <laughs> We call out the beat, the biggest way that we can lay eyes on them, the biggest way that we can lay eyes on them to plot pilots drag us out from the circling brutes. Them things roan and bellow across the water like they're calling out to each other. Men bellow say you can feel it in the hole. <laughs> but when the harpoons go in, the beast cannot make the deep water no more. Once it weeks from lost blood, we launch the hook, the hook boat and put the chains into the tail and the winches drag, drag the whale backward up the chute and into the rigging overhead. <laughs> the way that guy was talked is like it begged for an accent. The Greaves Whale House. In the early days, when the ships brought in the great dead whales, men would slaughter them and reduce their blubber to oil in massive vats on the banks of the Wren Haven. Small crews maintained their own vats, with workers specializing as fire tenders, slicers, gutmen, haulers, or strainers. Inevitably, once the demand went up, the businessmen moved in, wooing the best crews with promises of better pay and safer conditions. The warehouses went up at the edges of the Rudshore Financial District almost overnight. None was more organized, or as some would say, more ruthless, than the Greaves Whale House, opened by Ebenezer Greaves himself. The Greaves Whale House grew rapidly, absorbing rivals until it dominated the trade. At its peak, the operation employed over 300 workers, not including the children who filled minor and often tragic roles. Oh gosh. Those associated with the refinery were recognized by their head-to-toe industrial leather uniforms and the mask that they wore to protect against fumes. Yikes. Harpooner songs. What will we do with the drunken whaler? What will we do with the drunken whaler? What will we do with the drunken whaler early in the morning? <laughs> Feed to the hungry rats for dinner. Way hey and up she rises. Slice his throat with a rusty cleaver. Yikes. Stuff him in a sack and throw him a Oh my gosh. Those are harpooner songs? It's incredibly violent. <laughs> Seems a bit unnecessary. Here? No? Thought it'd be some hidden loot or, or a secret or something. Okay, so I gotta get a whale oil tank and I gotta put it here. Hmm. There is something here to refill it. I just need a tank. Ah, here we go. Go in here. Grab one of these. Just take it over and fill it up and put it in place. Could have ordered for a new one as well. Alright. Here. Fill it up. And then... Bottle. Wonderful! Okay. My gear is down there. Here's my gear. Sounds like there are weepers down there keeping it company. Oh, speaking of which. I don't want to carry them because they actually hurt you if you carry them. Uh oh. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I don't want to have to wait. 
waste that much mana, but if I don't want to kill them, I kind of have to. Well, vivisection. Each person I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in psi... psi... psychology. Look. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a, f a female some 42 inches in length. I estimate she weighed 35 tons and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart. Sketching and taking notes against her bellowing, I cut into the massive tentacles around her mouth, but then I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running under, along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assumed she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. Huh. Okay. So this is where he was saying. some health back there. Oh, she fell all the way down here. <laughs> but she's still asleep. What's this? Well, oil processing. I think I've already read that one. Seer Campbell. That's right. Because I marked him as a heretic, they must have banished him, and he must have been sent here. He must have gotten infected with the plague. Wow. Oh, what's that over there? Aha, looks like that's a doorway. I can use this to get out of here once I get my gear. There we go. Now that he's sleeping, Campbell's curse. Curse that fool, Hiram Burrows. Lord Regent, my my willy white bottom. We almost had it all. Now I will wear the heretic's brand for the short remainder of my days. The heretic's brand of all things. I should have banned the ritual, but in truth I plan to use it against a few undesirables should the need arise. Perhaps even Hiram. Now it's all lost. When I spy my own reflection in a puddle of filthy water, I see failure burned into my face. I am cast out. And now the plague's upon me. Already the fever grows, and my thoughts are as slippery as hagfish. It won't be long before I'm drooling and moaning and bleeding from the eyes. Last week I was sipping fine Tivian wines and enjoying the comforts rightfully afforded to my position within the abbey. Today I sleep in filth, lost in this bleak and destroyed district. If my mind is going to rot away, then let these be my last words. The final coherent thoughts of Thaddeus Campbell, a great man, a voracious lover of life and all of its flavors and odors, and once high overseer in the great capital city of Dunwall itself. From the blackness of the void, I fling curses upon the head of Corvo Otano. It was he who cost me everything I held dear. May flies nest in your eyes, Corvo, and may all of your desires come to ruin as you have ruined mine, Thaddeus Campbell. Sorry, Campbell, but I had to do it. I, d I did what I had to do. All right. All right, I have my gear back. Wonderful. My sleep darts back there. Now that I have the crossbow bolts, now I can deal with those things again. 
Got all my stuff back. Wonderful. Including my own special sword. Let me make sure to check if there's anything else. Oh, oh, there's this little thing here. Oh, a bunch of rats. Wonderful. my gear back now we can go go to go after Dal and we can avenge the Empress's murder ah oh, there's a note there's some guards here some overseers oh this guy's still alive please Overseer's warning. The assassins sprung their trap as we tried to cross the narrow bridge. At that choke point, they were able to pick us off one by one. We thought we could draw them inside where our greater numbers could make more of a difference, but it didn't matter. Now I'm the only one left alive, and I feel that's slipping from me minute by minute. Please, if a second group attempts to come through this way, beware of that bridge. They are listening for the sound of the door opening. Keep an eye on the rooftops. Even a small number of them is more than a match. Okay. Sir. That's right, I have, a full, I have a full amount of those now. Alright. Back to the waterfront upper level. I guess, I'm guessing the door he's referring to, do you remember earlier we were on that bridge? And you could tell that there was a bunch of guards on the other side. Yeah, this room right here. I guess what he's saying is once you open that door, a bunch of guards will hear it and will show up and attack. So I guess I'm going to have to be careful of that. Oh. Great. Well, time to take care of these things. There we go. I took care of that. Right, Rizzo? <laughs> Alright, so... care of that one. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens if I open this door. Yep, he was right. Oh boy. Wasted a seat dart when I was trying to take that guy out. Another 
note. What's this? Orders from Higher Overseer Campbell. I bid you seek the encourage on your expedition. The Assassin Dowd and his cultist followers are commonly known as the Whalers, due to the oil workers' masks they wear. Beware for Dowd may possess power and resistance beyond expectation. Tread with extreme caution. Their infamy is well earned. They are based inside the Chamber of Commerce building in the ruins of Central Rudshore. All roads to this area have been blocked with the exception of the elevated rails. Find the rail station in the Rudshore Market. March carefully for the cultists undoubtedly employ spies to watch the, ru the route or route. High Overseer Campbell. So he gave those orders before I took him down. Hello? Ha! Ah. So that's a good thing, you can actually get your bolts back. They also have things that are worth some coins. Very helpful to know. Alright. So, was it just that one assassin? time to show this uh, ability. So let's take control of this rat. Oops. Let's go in here. And voila! You're in a whole nother area. Ah, so this is where that area from before. I could have gotten this without having to do that, I guess. But if you watch, unfortunately, it takes quite a bit of mana. So that's one of the downsides of using this, these abilities, like possession, is that it takes a lot of mana. not moving. That guy is not moving.
he's facing that way, I mean, I don't think I have to deal with him. <laughs> let's just go ahead and, uh, yep. Because I've already got the key, so let's just go ahead and head in. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the base now. <laughs> 